Freddy. Magni Acta, eh, manager in Winter, eh, in winter Ball, Dominican Winter Ball with eh, Aglas y Baeñas. Eh, Manny, why, what can you tell us about eh, Mariner pl eh, players eh, in Dominican Winter Ball? Eh, you had eh, some guys playing eh, for you in, in Aglas and in, in the tournament eh, generally. Uh, we're happy with the guys that came down here. And, you know, uh, Boo Powell came down and, and he played well for the first half of the season. The second half of the season struggled a little bit, and then we have Juan Lagares over here, and he's been splitting time with Juan. But you know, he's learned a lot. He's had some bats. He needed their bats, and you know, we we, we got some uh, some experience out of it. Uh, you know, the other guys, Kittrich, you know, he came early, and then we have way too many guys. But you know, it, it is a good experience for those guys. And uh, uh, Snow was fantastic for us. He became a free agent, but um, you know, he was a guy who threw the ball very well for us. And uh, we'll be, uh, uh, we're grateful uh, for the job that he did for us. Managing is something uh, you have uh, been aiming, uh, aiming for in, in the past. Now, they, with experience managing in Dominican Winter League, what's your take on it? <laughs> um, you know, it's something that I wasn't planning on, but, uh, but I had to do it because uh, the responsibility I have as a vice president of operations here trying to change a culture. But uh, it's something that I enjoy doing it, uh, except that. You know, the situation wasn't, wasn't the right one for me to be upstairs in the, in the front office. And um, you know, we're going to just keep on going. We're going to plug away and try to get into the playoffs and see what happens. But it's something that I, it's not new to me. I've done it before in winter ball, and I've I done the big league. So it's not like I'm, done, I'm doing something that it's completely out of, out of my box. And about uh, the team, uh, Jerry DePoto uh, has built uh, now in offseason uh, with Mariners. Yeah, we're, we're happy with some of the acquisition we, uh, we made. You know, we have Gene Segura now. We were looking for top of the lineup uh, type of hitters, guys that can set the table for, uh, for Cano, Cruz, and Seager. And, um, and Jerry did that. You know, Segura, you got to love a guy like that on top of your lineup. Uh, it hurts losing uh, Taiwan Walker, but, you know, to get some, you got to give up some. And uh, uh, we, like, uh, we like our team right now. It's, it's becoming more athletic. And, um, you know, I think. Uh, uh, we're going into spring training very confident after after the way we finish the year. I uh, cannot uh, finish the interview without uh, asking you about uh, the campaign that has uh, uh, the Mariner about uh, Edgar Martinez to uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, 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 your opinion about it? Well, uh, Edgar, I mean, he's done so much for the game. When you have a uh, when you have an award name after you, you would think that you you belong in the Hall of Fame, and uh, you know that he's getting a, a lot of push. Uh, from the people that knows him as a person too, uh, I think it's just it's just breaking the barrier. You know, there's uh, there are no DHs in the in, in the Hall of Fame yet, and hopefully it's a matter of time before him and then Ortiz when he comes up, uh, people gives him an opportunity. Thanks a lot, Manny. Thank you. Special interview for Luca Vlad, um, Manny uh, Atta, uh, uh, Aguilas Ibañez manager and uh, Mariners uh, third base coach and coordinator in first.